Hi all, welcome to Home Schooling with Hera. Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I will be discussing with you the mass syllabus for foundation years. What should be taught to kids? How it should be taught? And what are the worksheets and how you can maintain the notebooks for them? So if you are a homeschooling mom or a new teacher who wants to learn all this, watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel right now. Turn on the bell notifications as well. And without any further ado, let's dive in. Alright, so here is a list of contents that you need to teach your kids when they are in FS2. You can even begin in uh, nursery all these things, but in nursery we do not just teach all of them. You just simply introduce some numbers, okay? This is a proper syllabus beginning from KG1 or you can say FS2. They both are the same thing. Okay, please don't be confused. Let's keep it simple. I will say it KG1, right? So what should be taught? Quantities, not symbol. I will just in, uh, tell you how to do this. Then relate quantities with symbols. Counting 1 to 10. This is oral. Then sequence writing 1 to 10. How to reach till here. We cannot just go directly from 1 to 10. There are some steps that we need to follow that you will be watching in the next part of the video. Okay, then we have what comes after, what comes before, write the missing numbers, backward counting, greater than or less than, right? So this is the first course that you will be teaching your kids. No matter what is their age, if they are uh, new to math if you are introducing math to them in a systematic way so this is the first thing to be followed now let's see what do i mean by introduce quantities not symbols for example this is number one and this is one yo-yo right what i mean to say do not introduce the symbol first this is the symbol for number one and this is the quantity for number one right introduce the quantity first Show them different objects that are only one in number, one yo-yo, one marker, one pencil, one pen, and then introduce the symbol. This is one, number one, and this is one yo-yo. This is how you begin things with little kids. This is what we call the concrete concept, building the concrete concept. Like you are just not giving them orally number one. You are showing the relation between the symbol and the quantity, right? If you want to build the concrete concepts in your children's brain, I am showing you something. And that is this, the number rods. This is a Montessori material. This is not this way. I have just uh, made it for you and for the video. If you want to learn how to teach all these concepts with these number rods, you can simply check out the description box and you will find the video how to use the number rods the Montessori material, how to make it. And believe me, it works wonders. So do use this material, make it, use it, and then follow the other patterns. All right, so far we have learned that what we need to teach kids uh, at the beginning. Now, if you don't want to take the workbooks from uh, some stationery or bookshops, if you don't want to download the material from internet, this is how you can maintain their copies and help them to go in a systematic way. The first thing that you need to do is to draw a picture and write the symbol. This is one, this is one. Now I strictly forbid people to give dots to children. Dots make children dependent. We want them to be independent. What you can do rather is to uh, guide their pencil to write the right thing. Okay, just make these cutout kind of things and ask them to write inside it. Okay, you, th these are not for coloring. Give them these cutouts and ask them to write inside. And later they can they can write their cells. You can give them as many cutouts as you want. And if you think that this is something easy for them and he has got it, so ask them to simply write it down himself. Okay, do not give dots. Strictly forbidden. It will work, but it uh, makes the children dependent. Now for letter two as well, they can just write inside and... Like this, their hand will get used to of this movement. You are helping them to strengthen their muscles for writing, right? So this is a better technique. Similarly, go for number three and then to number 10. You have given numbers, you have given quantities. Now it comes for some activity pages, right? You can start activities right after number one and two or one, two and three. It could be simple matching activities, match one with one, two with two, three with three. 
you can ask them to count and write count the quantity write the number count and write you can even ask them to color the right number of objects if this is number four color in four apples only so you can understand that they have got the concept right or not okay then the next uh, activity paper could be draw the missing pictures if i can just bring it closer okay uh, like this is number six i drew one two three four circles so they need to draw two more this is number seven these are one two three four squares they need to draw five six seven eight th these are six draw two more so this is how you can give another worksheet to them once they are good in relating quantities and number and you have given them individual numbers till 10 you can go for sequence counting or sequence writing it start with 1 to 10 some people also start with 0 but i think the concept of 0 is something that should be given separately okay 0 means nothing this is the concept of number 0 0 means nothing you can even play some games with the concept of 0 in montessori we have games to introduce number 0 in some other video i'll also give you that concept okay so now this is the sequence counting from 1 to 10. Be careful when you are giving uh, the sequence counting. Now you need to mention that these are 1s and when you write the 1 here, uh, then T should be at the top, 10s. 10s and 1s. You need to mark these things, okay? You don't need to tell children anything about it, but at least start marking it. The next worksheet can be missing number 1, 2, 3, 4. The numbers that are missing, they need to complete them because now they know the sequence of numbers right later you can give them what comes after worksheet one two three four five six so you can check their automatic response have they got the numbers correctly and how fluent they are you can also ask them to write the missing numbers and this is the middle missing number one dash three four dash five something like this if they are good in forward counting give them the backward counting now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 don't forget to write tens and one at the top okay now once backward counting is introduced they have mastered it they are good at this come to what comes before now this is number 10 what comes before 10 so 9 5 what comes before 6 what comes so uh, something like this now this is for greater than and less than i have just made a mistake here first you need to do it with the pictures more or less okay you can give the concept that this is a fish or you can even make an alligator who wants to eat the bigger picture or the bigger amount so if these are four cookies and these are two the fish will eat four cookies so the mouth will be open here okay she will have an open mouth here you need to draw the open mouth of fish towards the bigger quantity now this is one candy these are two which one is bigger two is bigger open mouth towards two okay don't make uh, don't need to don't draw the whole fish just open mouth now three lollipops two lollipops which one is which one is bigger number three or three quanti uh, or three lollipops are more so you can do it like this three and five five are more do like this first introduce this with numbers and then go for the sorry First, introduce this with pictures and then with the numbers, right? So they can do the greater than and less than like this, okay? This is the concept for greater than and less than. You can also do it in a multi-sensory way. Bring some realia to your class or show them some real objects and ask them to do this. So far, we have been discussing about from number 1 to 10. Now, let's come to this part that was hidden. Concept of teen numbers. Now, once again, if you want to teach teen numbers in a multi-sensory way to your kids, the link to the video is in the description box. Again, that is a multi-sensory way. That is a Montessori way of introduction of teen numbers. I have made some DIY that is actually used in the Montessori environment. So if you want to follow that concept, if you want to give something concrete to your kids, go watch that video. And here I'm just telling you how you can do this on their notebooks. Usually what do we say? 1 and 1 is 11, 1 and 4 is 14. This is something, a real cross, a real big thing, a red flag. Do not go for this. Number 11 is 10 and 1 is 11. 10 and 4 is 14. 
forget about number 20 okay so you need to clear their concepts about teen numbers that in teen numbers we have we always have number 10 10 and 1 together makes 10 okay 10 and 4 together makes 14 ask them to count the string of 10 and then 1 and say 10 and 1 is 11 10 and 2 is 12 10 and 3 is 13 10 and 4 is 14 like this till 19 you will go the same and when it comes to writing ask them to first draw number 10 then 1 draw 11 and then write 11 don't say 1 and 1 is 11 no it's 11 simply say 11 or say 10 and 1 is 11 got it similarly for uh, 14 15 16 17 18 and 19 now when it comes to 20 what does 20 means it's not two zero it means two tens this is the zero of tens right i should have drawn here this worksheet for number 10 in the number 10 worksheet just draw this string of 10 and write here number 10 so that they can understand that okay this is string means number 10 right and then you can move forward to 11 12 13 14 15 for 20 now in 20 we have two tens they can see it that 20 means two tens it is not two zero these are two tens they can draw it they can write the number 20 don't let them say two zero twenty two zero twenty no two tens twenty two tens twenty right so this is how you will introduce teen numbers once again if you want to uh, work in a multi-sensory way with some material to introduce this concept check the description box for the video so here are three more concepts that you need to introduce kids in KG2, UKG or year one. The first concept is of even and odd. If you want to learn how to introduce this in a multi-sensory way, so the link to the video is in the description box. You can see the material again, a simple DIY, a Montessori method to introduce even and odd. But if you want to do this on paper, so here you are, you can uh, write the number from one to 10. I have just written till eight then draw these counters okay tell children that these counters are dots if the dot is in the middle of the number you cannot reach to that do uh, number and it means the door is closed and the number is odd for example the door is closed one is odd let's go to number two the door is open you can reach here it's even let's go to number three. Oh, the door is closed it's odd Three is odd. Go to number four. Yay, the door is open. Four is even. Number five, door is closed. Five is odd. Door is open. Six is even. Seven, the door is closed. It's odd. Eight, door is open. It's even. So like this, you can give them the concept of even and odd, then ask them to uh, list even number here and odd numbers here. So they will see if the door is closed, they will write one here, door is open, two is even. Door is closed, three, four here, five here, six here, like this. Okay, so this is something little different from the traditional way of teaching even and odd. You can try this and it will work, inshallah. Now, the most important and the most problematic thing, that is the spelling of numbers. So how to solve this? If you are teaching kids proper phonics, the spellings of number is so simple, you can simply decode them. Only number one and two, these two spellings are tricky and they cannot be decoded by simple phonics. So they need to memorize these two spellings. You can sing a song for this. O N E one T W O two O N E one T W O two T H R E E three T H R E E three. So you can go like this if you want to cram it out. Okay, make a rhyme out of this. But if your kids know phonics, so after one and two, three is decodable. Th, er, e, three. Oh, you can also say the O sound. F, O, er, four. F, I, this is the magic -y pattern. Five, v, five. S, e, x, six. Okay, so you can decode all these numbers till 100. And if you want to learn how to do this, please check the video in the description box. I have also uploaded a video on the decoding of numbers. Okay, so you can do this and help your kids to write these numbers without cramming out right 
the last thing not the least but the last in this video is addition you can teach them simple addition when they are towards the end of kg2 or year one start with the pictures again give them the pictures ask them to count and write you can again go for the multi-sensory ways do it with the objects as well then later you can go with the numbers keep the numbers simple do not go for two digit number uh, let's let it be from one to nine only the result can be two num two digit number but the uh, but the numbers that you are adding should be one digit okay so that's all i hope that this was a useful video for you if yes so please hit the like button if haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel i shall see you soon with something new take care bye for now and don't forget to make it a great day bye